Hey y'all, FTRV, how you doing? We are at Fayetteville RV Resort and Cottages in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Hop, skip, and a jump from home, which is nice. I mean, before the truck even warmed up, we were here. Stay tuned for some weekend fun. Yeah, welcome back. So this is our second time here. Like I said, it's very close to home. That makes it nice and easy and convenient. We were here for Christmas weekend and had an absolute blast. I'll put a card up here somewhere, maybe a link below to that video. This weekend is Luau weekend. Let me show you real quick what we got here. We've got things going on most of the day today, or this evening anyways, and then all day tomorrow. Let's get ready for a Luau weekend. Well, we've been here all of 10 minutes and guess who forgot something? Ah, oh, she's standing off. We gotta hit the grocery store 10 miles away. Heck, it's probably farther to the grocery store than it was to get here. All right, we'll see you shortly. Where are we heading? To the Luau. To the Luau. We've had some off on little uh, rain showers, but that's all right. We're gonna have a blast tonight. What's great about this place is how they have, I think like yeah, you know, 15, 16 weekends, I think I counted, where they'll have like events like this. We did the Christmas one pay 10 bucks get food even got some drinks so we'll do the luau and then they um i'm gonna have like one of those flame twirler guys so we'll get some of that too Let the luau begin. took some pictures over here they got uh alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks over there and the line for the food over here, all kind of things. I think I got about half of what they had to offer. I don't know what they call this, but we used to call it jungle juice. Cheers. Dessert time. This is a pineapple cream cheese mousse. And this is a banana pudding with uh, vanilla cookies. How do you like it? What did you have? Oh, you <laughs> she had one of the little jellyfish things. It's a shark. Shark. Let's see if what is this? It's Show and a little bit of a sprinkle here. This is a luau. We are not ethnic Polynesian, but we do incorporate some of the fire tools used in Polynesian islands, including please dark clock. Three, two, one. Whoa! That's impressive. <laughs> Friday night wasn't it we had an absolute blast Eddie and I actually hit the pool for a little bit beforehand but we had that uh, fun little luau and the flame guys what was it uh creative flame the guys with the fire they were really good stay tuned tomorrow we are going to have another full day we got another uh, luau event going on at the pool with a bunch of other things so stay tuned we'll see you in the morning hey good morning going to hit breakfast here and then the second luau starts around 11 I think at the pool so let's go get some breakfast I think it's just waffles but we paid for it so might as well enjoy it 
Fresh up. butternut waffle. Yeah, nice little breakfast there. We ended up bringing Maddie something back, made her a waffle. She's still in bed, so let's get on the bike. Take a little ride around before the luau starts. In order to save some cash, I made a little cover out of a sock for this new camera GoPro 10 I got. It's hard to get the button, so I've lost track. I wanted to get a little video here of us riding the trail, but they're so far ahead of me, I can't get them anymore. So you got me once again. We're going to hit the pool party, Luau. And I had to get ready, so let's get over there now. Ah, oh, I wish you could join us. Pool's great. Yep, party started, so there's gonna be a lot of music. Gonna have to do short little clips. Here we go. fun at the pool we were there easily for maybe five hours we're back at the camper now we're gonna kind of clean up inside get some dishes done we have to um we're starting to think about our trip next week we're going out in vincent van gogh for eight days can you believe that we are heading to the northeast for eight days in vincent van gogh and hope for the best we got a couple campgrounds um, booked and then we are gonna try maybe to boondock a little bit. We'll see how that goes. Our Lord bless Charlie Moe, the man who invented beer, 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 tiddly beer, yeah. beer, beer. It's that time of day, what do we have? What? Looks almost empty. Thanks, Cousin Eddie, for some Mick Ultra. So while I take a sip of this nice quality brewski, Hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends, comment, and hit that little notification bell. Cheers. Oh, that's, gosh, that brings back old memories of low quality beer. <laughs> I say we put the drone up and take a quick look around the campground. together for dinner had some uh, veggies from our garden and a little bit of leftovers from Thursday night I think it's almost six o'clock we're gonna head to the event center and watch what are we watching the cornhole tournament yeah they donate the money to um, a local children's Falcons yeah. Children's Home. Yeah, so half the money goes to there, and then the other half goes to the winners of the uh, cornhole tournament. We are watching a cornhole tournament, and Buddy was asked to play. So he's playing against his son. And he is no, he's not playing against the Oh, sorry. He's, he's on a team with the owner's son. Round two. 
they won the first round of the tournament. So now they're playing a new team. One more time. If he loses this round, he is out. If he wins, he go on to the next round. They lost their bad. Here he comes, the walk of shame. He lost. Well, there it is. Weekend's over. It's Saturday evening. We got to do the routine of packing up and head out first thing tomorrow morning. Yep, Fayetteville RV Resort and Cottages. We really enjoy it. It's our second time here, but we've already booked, I think, two more weekends already. These themed weekends, really fun. You know, pay 10 bucks and you got activities and events and a luncheon or a dinner or something like that. So we really enjoyed it. You saw that cornhole tournament. I didn't plan on playing, but when we got there, the one of the owners asked me if I'd play with their son. So I figured, yeah, why not? So uh, Tyler there, we played, won one game, lost the next two. Pretty much got blown out the next two. Ironically, one of those games was to his parents, but we had fun. So stay tuned though, our next video, I don't know, I may put up some other videos of, um, I got a lot of footage that I gotta kinda sort through. But the next video may be of Vincent Van Gogh and the New England States, Vermont and Maine, I think. And we might try to hit one other state. So stay tuned for that. Alrighty, bye-bye.